What is going on guys? Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you're all doing well. Now, I've been using this tool a lot lately at work. This is a trailer light wiring harness tester. All you do is hook this up to a four or five pin connector like so. You'll take your white ground wire, hook it up to your negative terminal, and then you can test all your other wires with your positive terminal. I'll use my brown wire, that'll be my running lights. I'll use the green wire, that'll be one side. I'll use my yellow wire, that'll be the other side. And then if I have electronic brakes, I'll use the blue wire or electric brakes. I'll use the blue wire and hit this. I don't have it because this is a tester. <laughs> so I'm thinking to myself, if I can make myself a five-way tester like this, can I make myself a seven-way tester? Let's check that out right now. So what I did is I got an outlet from Amazon for about 10 bucks. This is a seven way outlet that would go onto your truck and that you would hook your trailer up to. Let's take a closer look at this and take it apart. All right, now that we've got a better view of this outlet, let's start disassembly. First thing I'm gonna do is unscrew this lock screw. This lock screw helps prevent the wires from getting yanked out from the entire body in case something crazy happened. These next screws, hold the terminal hub within the actual outlet itself. I'm going to give the terminal hub a little nudge and it's going to fall out along with a rubber sleeve that encloses all the wires together. Looks kind of like a radial engine from an aircraft, doesn't it? Now we've got our ground wire and I'm going to strip them right here. I'll put a little eyelet connector on there. You can use any connector you want for your application. Then I'll crimp it. And then I'll give it a little heat shrink action. And then we have our finished product. For time's sake, I went ahead and did the same thing to the rest of the wires. Next thing I'll do is grab my terminal hub. I'll grab a wire. I'll select the correct spot for it to go. And I'll insert it. I'll then take my screwdriver and secure it down tightly. All we have left to do is the same thing to the rest of the wires. Make sure your connections are tight and secure. This will ensure a good connection and also further aid in prevention of getting your wires ripped out. Next, we'll grab our outlet housing and we'll start feeding the wires through. This proved to be a little difficult at first as all the wires started to bunch up at the bottom of the hole. What seemed to work best was feeding the wires in one by one and pulling them out as they'd come through. Once you've got all your wires ran through, make sure you line up the keyway on the terminal hub and on the outlet housing. This will make sure that the terminal hub slides all the way through into the outlet housing to its correct position. We'll go ahead and grab our rubber sleeve and feed our wires in one at a time. This sleeve acts as a protective barrier between the wires and the lock screw gate. Here I'm grabbing the gate and the lock screw. I want to tighten this down securely, but I don't want to tighten it down so much that it crushes the wire. Next, I'll go ahead and grab my screws that hold the terminal connector securely to the housing. And there you have it, folks, our seven pin wire tester. I hope you guys followed along just fine. Let me know in the comments how you did. Now that we've got our seven pin tester built, let's go try it out on a trailer in the yard. Just like a test setup in the studio, I'll go ahead and grab my white wire and I'll attach it to the negative terminal of our battery. I'll then open up my socket and put in my connector from the trailer. Now we've got our trailer hooked up. We're gonna take the brown wire or our running lights and hook them up first. Look at that, we've got power. Next, I'll take my yellow wire and pulse it and this should give me a left turn signal which it does. I'll go ahead with the green wire or the right side and I'll pulse that wire. 
Here I'm hooking up my 12 volt power source. This is hooked up to my breakaway system for my electric brakes. Next, I'm hooking up my reverse lights, which do not work. Now I'm hitting my brake wire, which appears to be smoking. Well, that's it for that. I'll disconnect this. Back to you, Pintu. Thanks, Pintu. Hey, man, you're doing a great job out there. All right, and there you have it, guys. Let me know down in the comments below what projects you're working on that you'll think this will come in use. I'd love to see your restorations and your projects, so drop them down below so we can talk about it. Now, guys, when working on our boat project, having the correct tool or a great alternative can be such a benefit. If you're like me, I don't want to spend a crazy amount of money on a tool I'm only going to use a couple times throughout the season. While working on boats over the last couple of years, I've discovered a couple different methods and I've made a couple different tools that have helped me progress throughout my boat projects. Without these tools and methods, I would have had to have spent thousands of dollars at the shop or would have had to spend hundreds on tools on the internet or at a tool shop. If you guys want to check out those videos, I'll leave the links to them right here. You guys, that is it. My name's Pintu. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace.